Several cabinet secretaries have taken on their new dockets following a reshuffle by President William Bruto a week ago. Tourism Cabinet Secretary Alfred Mutua, Investments, Trade and Industry Cabinet Secretary Rebecca Miano, and Tourism and uh, the now regional as well as ASAL Cabinet Secretary Penina Malonza officially settled into their offices following the handover by their predecessors in the ministries. Martin Mwangi with the details. And we are, we just, uh, just over a year after Alfred Mutua was sworn in as the Foreign Affairs CS, he officially took over a new docket after being reassigned to the Tourism Ministry by President William Bruto. <laughs> Top on his agenda, how to make the tourism sector a key contributor in Kenya's economy. My aim is to engineer this ministry to be a very key employer in various sectors. And so we'll work together with everybody, thinking how do we create jobs everywhere in this country for young men and women. It's just, just, it's just about tourists coming here. It's also about creating uh, opportunities for young men and women. Mutua wants to work with county governments to identify areas of interest to attract local and international tourists. I want to visit all county governments. I want to sit down with governors. I want to map out their attractions. People can just come here, see animals, go to the beach, see animals, and leave. They need to go to our counties. We need to have tourist sites in all our counties. At the NSSF building, Moses Korea was passing the baton to the new investments, trade and industry CS Rebecca Miano. Her goal is to boost the country's exports and the manufacturing sector. The way I see trade, the way I see investments and even industries, it is a growth pillar of this country and therefore I will come in with the best foot forward, with the energy required, with the managerial skills. Penina Malonza, who was the tourism CS, takes over regional matters as the East African Community CS and is promising to hit the ground running after learning the ropes. And that's why I come to you this morning willing to learn from you because you are my professors today and I want to believe that I'll take the shortest period to learn so that we can run because you know very well that we have no time for uh, you know uh, a long period of learning. Martin Mwangi, NTV.